Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's get started by importing system.io. Okay, uh, we're gonna create a text a string just to to be uh, familiar with this. This is a string in C sharp. Okay, so uh, in today's video we are going to write this string to a file using another method. So the class file has different methods. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, so uh, we're just going to use another method. This method is a little bit different, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically call this method file.write all bytes. So this time, instead of passing uh, a host a string or a, a string array, we're going to pass bytes, which is basically the data raw data of a string in C sharp to a file. So we pass the path, in this case file3.txt, and we need to get the byte. So the, the what's changed here, the main difference here is that we need to get the byte. So there's a couple ways to do this. We could create a object byte. Let's do this. Uh, notice that it is a byte array, okay, byte array here. That we need to pass so byte array let's call bytes which is going to be equal we need to use a class called encoding dot utf h utf 8 okay and we pass our string here so this method uh actually we need to pass the, the method here dot get bytes and we pass a string here text okay so by doing this, we're going to get the bytes and we can pass the bytes here. Um, let's do this. So that's all. That's all we basically need to do in order to accomplish this. Uh, let's execute. We should see the output in the the book folder folder. Let's come here as you can see file three. Uh, this is a string in C sharp uh, just to to recap, you guys can see that this method is not efficient because we are creating a very huge uh, byte array if you are working with a large file, but eventually we'll have to talk about more efficient ways to work with IO in C Sharp. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.